Oh, stinks in here, doesn't it? <coughs> ain't working. Rich! Well, he ain't gonna answer now if he didn't answer before, is he? Oh, careful, Arthur. Rage. He's dead. Dead drunk. No, he's dead. No, no, it's not. I can still feel his pulse. Give us a hand with this, Rick. All right. What do you think it could be? I don't know. Hypothermia, stroke, drink, I don't know. He could have been here like this ever since he's been missing. We didn't notice anything. Who does, son? He's a cantankerous old man. Dan, go and get the doc quick. Right. And the best thing you can do is go and get dressed. All right. Now is arranged for you to have a test. I'll fix an appointment at the clinic. Right. Uh, when did you say officially? I'm busy. Well, I'm sorry about barging like this, Doc, uh, Pauline, uh, but it's old Reg across the road. He looks a bit dodgy, like he's had a stroke or something. Is he conscious? No, he's barely breathing. Have you phoned for an ambulance? I've came straight. We'll do it now, will you? Pauline, I'll have to see you later. And tell the people waiting outside I'll be back as soon as I can. Right. You found him then, Dennis? Uh, ambulance. Yeah, kicked his door in. Yeah, uh, can you send an ambulance to. Oh, what number is it, Paul? Um, 23. 23 Albert Square. Walford. And me? Oh, I'm Dan Watts, public in the Queen Victoria. It's an old boy. He's had a stroke or something. It's actually old dodgy strawberry. Mm. Where's me facts? You've given them up, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'd better go and tell this lot. Oh, what's up with you then, Paul? Oh, uh, confidential, Dennis. Here, it's a good thing I weren't undressed when you come in, wasn't it? Wouldn't have bothered me. I would have kept my eyes shut. See if you can open that, will you? We ain't moved him, Doctor. No. Reg! Reg! How is he? Well, he ain't feeling any better, Al. Ambulance has arrived. What's up with your missus then, Arthur? How do you mean? Well, she was at the surgery when I got over there. Well, not now, then, eh? Has he gone, Doctor? How long has he been like that, then, Doc? I think it best, gentlemen, if you vacate the room. Why, what's up? He's not dead, is he? No. We're going to need some space. What's this about then, Lou? I don't know, Ethel. Who is it? They're taking Reg to hospital. How do you know? I saw Den and Arthur go in. Den came out, then the doctor went in. Den went back in again, then the ambulance came. Had a busy day, ain't you? It was us who went and told Den and Pete. Bet you still ain't got no peace pudding, though, have you? Peace pudding? His dad would have had some, wouldn't he, Lou? He knew you liked it, didn't he, Gordon? That's <laughs> why I ate the stuff. If you spent more time watching what your customers want instead of all the comings and goings in the square, we'd all be a lot better off. Here, I'm going to have a look, Lou. Come on. No, we'll take care of our own. Thank you very much. Not as he was one of our own miserable old perisher. Oh, you just don't know, do you? When someone's missing. And then when you do notice, it's too late. We did. He didn't come in for his milk. For three days. That's what we told then. Well, good for you, love. It's nice to know there's still a bit of community feeling left. Mm. Even if it ain't done him much good. No one needs me anymore. I've got a pub to run. I'd better tell Sue. He ain't dead, is he, Doctor? Not yet. The less said about this for the moment, Arthur, the better. You must be joking, Doctor. Yeah. Gossip will know it soon enough. Dogs to a bone. <laughs> 